Today's video is brought to you in collaboration with Backswing.com, a golf publication offering insight from top pros for the game of golf. Visit Backswing.com today to help fix your game. Hi, welcome back. My name is Richard Rice. I'm the PGA Director of Instruction at Colonial Heritage Golf Club. In this video, we're going to talk about the bump and run shot, when you should use it and why, and we'll talk a little bit about technique as well. Stay tuned. Okay, before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell for notifications so you can see more great videos just like this one. All right, so the bump and run is one of the most fundamental shots we can learn. I, th I think it's you know, one of those shots you learn right in the beginning of golf, but I think it's an important shot to maintain. I think it's important, especially for the high handicapper, but I also think that the average player and the more skilled player should, should be efficient at the bump and run as well. So let's talk about when and why to use the bump and run. You know, my philosophy has always been around the chipping green that we should try to get that ball down and rolling like a putt as quickly as possible. The more we take variables out of the game, you know, that's hang time, uh, the wind direction, the wind speed, all of that stuff, we can take that out of the equation by keeping that ball real low to the ground. So whenever possible, I'm trying to keep my ball low and roll it towards the hole. So that, that goes for chips and pitches of all shots around, of all types around the green. So, you know, from there, I think it depends on your skill as a player. If you're a newer player and you struggle to get the ball airborne, we're going to be playing lots of bump and runs. If you're a more skilled player, I'm going to be talking about how I want you almost always trying to land the ball up on the green when possible. So a shot like this, for example, where we've got... You know, not much green to work with, but a skilled player could probably spin a wedge up there and leave it close to the hole. The average player that I'm teaching, I'm saying, hey, go ahead and hit a bump and run. We're going to let it bounce through the fairway a little bit and get up on the green. You know, it may not be as accurate as the more skilled player flying their wedge up to the green, but it's a safer shot. It's going to get us on the green more often. And, and for the average player, you probably have a closer putt more often. So let's go ahead and hit this shot like, a, like we're just trying to land it up in the fairway here and let it bounce up onto the green. Right, so I ran it by the hole a little bit, but it's a safe shot. I've got a putt for par. I guarantee if we practice that a little bit, we can, we can hone in our distance control and, and try to work on feeling these bump and runs and how they react in the fairway. There we go, much better there. So basically the bump and run depends on the situation, depends on your skill level as a player. So again, my less talented players, higher handicappers, let's try to take all the variables out whenever possible. Don't be afraid to bump and run that, that ball up through the fairway. My higher skilled players, let's, let's do our best to try to land our ball up on the green more often than not, but we are going to find situations where we are hitting this bump and run up through the fairway, just like the higher handicap player. So with that said, I'd like to talk about two different techniques that I teach, and we try to figure out you know, which one works better for the player in general, and then maybe using each different technique situationally. All right, the first technique is our standard bump and run shot. In this shot, we're gonna hold this club just like we hold all of our irons. We're gonna grip it right through the fingers. Now, a big mistake I see is, is players playing that ball way back off the back foot. I don't think we need to do that here. You know, we're using a less lofted club. For me, it's a pitching wedge. For you, it might be an eight or a nine iron, but the loft of the club's gonna keep the ball low for us. The farther back we play the ball, the more steeply we're swinging down on it and the less room for error we have. So let's go ahead and play that ball just back of center. We're gonna play it towards the back of our stance, but not way off the back foot. From there, we're using core rotation to hit this shot. So I'm quite literally hitting the shot with my body. My hands and arms are kind of just along for the ride. So I achieve that by taking my upper arms, you know, above the elbow, and I'm squeezing them into my rib cage here. When I do that, it connects my, my body and my arms so that when I turn my rib cage, my arms come with, all right? So nice, simple technique. I am not using any wrist motion here. We're not freely swinging the arms per se. We are gluing those arms to the upper rib cage, turning the rib cage back and through to create this shot. All 
All right, so the second technique's a really cool one. It's called a chip putt. So basically we're going to hold and stroke our wedge or our eight iron or our nine iron like a putter here. So what I have to do is really adjust my setup to create this shot. So number one, I'm going to make sure that the heel of the club is up off the ground. So I'm gonna lift the handle way up in the air like this. Now when I do that, I'd be reaching for the club. So I'm actually gonna move in closer and I'm gonna choke down on it. So I've got this setup position here. Now, instead of running the club through the fingers, because this club's so upright, I'm gonna go ahead and run it through the lifelines of my hands. It's going right through the palm. In other words, I'm holding this just like I'd hold a putter. From there, I'm just stroking it like I'd be hitting a putt. All right, so what this does is this softly bounces the ball up over some of the inconsistencies here in the fairway and gets it rolling onto the edge of the green. Now, this is gonna come off much softer than our normal bump and run chip shot. So this is a really soft feeling shot. In other words, I'm gonna have to feel like I'm hitting this ball much harder to get it to go to my target. So that's gonna look like this. Again, we've got the handle up in the air to, to get the heel up off the ground. Now I have to move closer and choke down and I grip the club through my palms. Now I'm just stroking it like a putt. So you can see that one came up much softer. It really only took one hop up onto the green and it just gives me another option to use and it gives all of you more than one option to use out on the golf course. Okay, so bottom line today is, is chipping is supposed to be one of the simplest parts of the game. Let's work on keeping it simple. Let's take out some of the variables. We're gonna use this bump and run shot whenever possible. You know, players of all skill levels should be proficient at the bump and run. So practice these two techniques. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks and have a great day.